Hello everyone. Before I upload the second part of the renovation project, I felt it was important that you get a complete individual tutorial on trusses. In this video, I have talked in detail about how you can create steel and wooden trusses in Revit and also about how you can attach a truss to the curved roof. If I have missed anything, do not hesitate and let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So now let's start. First of all, I'm going to talk about how you can create your own family of trusts in Revit. For that, open new family template file of structural trusses. It already has some built-in references, constraints and parameters, so it saves a lot of, lot of your time. You just have to draw the profile of the truss, basically the shape which you want in your project. Now, as you can see in this image, there are basically three important parts that makes a truss, which is the top cord, the bottom cord, and the web in between. First, click on the top cord and draw the top part of the truss as shown in the video. The top cord line is pink in color. So when you change the height of the uh, truss, the top cord automatically adjusts itself. So now draw the bottom cord, then draw the web in between. I am going to take the help of the reference planes to draw uh, these, to draw this web in an equal position. Now once you have drawn the vertical web, the vertical parts of the web, draw the uh, aligned ones. And that's it. You don't have to do anything else uh, in this family file of the trust. The family is now complete. So now open new architectural template file project. Place walls on the uh, floor plan load this address family file in the project and place it on the walls as shown you can also place it on the columns but for this tutorial I'm going to place it on the walls by default it has been placed like this you see it has automatically adjust its span according to the distance between the walls now uh, uh, add the dimensions of uh, of, uh, of the wall here so that you can uh, adjust the position of the truss you can also adjust the height of the truss from here go to the elevation and click on find so that you can solve uh, the complete detail of the truss in the elevation the web is not completely attached to the cord so for that uh, select this individual part with the help of the tab button and then unplug it drag the component and then use the cop command as shown Again, look carefully, move the mouse to this component, press tab button, and then click on it, drag it towards this point. Then press the this cop command, click these individuals, these parts one by one. Make sure you unplug the component before you edit it. So by repeating this simple process, you can easily adjust all the 
components and parts of this truss. The steel truss is now complete. Now I am going to create a wooden truss. Again draw two more walls in the uh, project file as shown. Then go to the structure, click on truss, click on load family and in the library you will find a folder with the name structural trusses where there is already um, many family files of the truss these are all built in select one from here and load it into the project draw it as shown then go to the 3d and by default it is a steel truss adjust its position as shown then go to the elevation and open a new family file of structural framing there is a folder in here click on wood wooden folder and select this dimension number from here which is basically a wooden component load this file into the project then again go to the elevation you can also go to the 3d elevation and from this dialog box you see that there is basically sections within this dialog box of the top chords the vertical webs the diagonal webs and the bottom chords so in this structural framing type you select this dimensional number from here and automatically the uh, top chord has changed its uh, material from steel to this to the wood repeat this process on the vertical webs the diagonal webs and the bottom chord as there is no vertical webs there are only these diagonal webs in this family file and it is so easy to create this wooden truss as you can see in the video now again adjust the uh, web with the cords with the help of the cop command as shown in the video it is with the same process you have used in the steel truss you select and drag this and then use the cop command you can also rotate the truss at any given angle from 0 to 360 degrees as shown in the video you just have to add the angle in this properties box now i am going to show you guys how to create a curved roof truss in revit for that again place two walls on the floor plan as in the previous part of the video load a truss family from the library go to structural truss folder make sure that 
the trust use the trust and you select should be uh, horizontal it should not be have an inclined chord i'm going to place two trusses one at the starting point of the wall and the other at the end ending point adjust its position in the elevation then place a reference plane in the level 1 floor plan assign a name to it then go to south elevation go to messing and side tab click on in place mass click ok set the reference plane to a the reference plane which you have just drawn then select this supply with the control points and draw any shape or any curve which you wish then select this line and click on create form in that top view select the length of the roof by dragging these arrows then click on finish mess ignore the error go to messing and site click on this roof and click on create roof the roof has a curved roof has now been created then go to the elevation select the truss click on attach top bottom and then click on this roof it will take some time and the roof has now been attached along with the curve of the uh, the truss has been attached along with the curve of the roof and the top cord has taken the shape of the roof and in this way you can attach the uh, the truss with any type of or with any shape of the roof you can individually select unpin and delete these components one by one if you only want to keep the top cord or the bottom cord or any component you want in this way you can create uh, beams with the help of trusses and if you want to regain the truss form simply select the truss and click on reset trust so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe